Hello, it is uh, Sunday, the 23rd of April, around quarter to 11 in the morning, and I am having a glass of water. I just woke up like an hour ago, and I've been dealing with little things around the apartment. I'm gonna try something new, where I do a single day in the live vlog, which is something I've never done before, because I don't like the idea of continuously filming throughout an entire day. Uh, I'd rather do a few days in a row, where I film a little bit from one to the other, and then I update you periodically. It's a little bit more chill in my opinion, although it does require a longer period of time, which I don't think I will have in the coming week. So let me catch you up on what has been going on around here. Um, I have not been in this apartment for the past around a month. Uh, I went back to my parents' house for my birthday initially, and then I realized that my father was sick and we had to take him to the hospital, which... Uh, ended up in him eventually passing away. It was the worst period of my life that I can recall. I am obviously still grieving and dealing with that. I stayed with my mom and with my brothers um, at my childhood home for a while and now I am back to this apartment because life doesn't stop just because you're having a difficult time. But again, as a result, I haven't been here for about a month and um, actually I've been here now for about a week, but before that I hadn't been here for about a month. And my boyfriend was staying here with my cats uh, and neither of those three uh, is great at cleaning, I would say. So this place is a bit of a mess. I think I start all of my vlogs with that statement that my apartment is a mess and I guess what I'm doing is that every time I think about cleaning around, I think about filming a vlog to kind of motivate myself and it turns into a pattern maybe. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if that is something that you're interested in watching and if not, maybe I can switch it up for something else. But for the time being, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean around a little bit, not too deeply. I don't feel that motivated yet and I have a lot of other things to do and a lot of other things that I'm actually looking forward to uh, instead of doing that but I will tidy up let's put it that way I'll clean the kitchen a little bit more deeply because the stove looks like it's terrible and I also yesterday kind of unlocked the balcony I kept it closed for the entire winter and I only kept my vegetables there basically I used it kind of like a storage unit and it was a total mess so I decluttered it a little bit and uh, removed the biggest chunks of things that I no longer want to be there and and um, today I have to actually fully clean it. I don't have to, but I would like to uh, and prep it for the summer season. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna move. I have an avocado plant here that's not doing too well. I think I'm gonna move it to another planter um, and add some more soil and add some fertilizer. And then uh, we're gonna clean again the balcony. And after that, I'm thinking recently I've been planning on doing something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Time, and that is rebind some of my rebind is that the word i don't know we'll see uh, rebind some of my books that are paperbacks which covers i'm not a particular fan of uh, and turn them into hardbacks monday editing here and uh, i wanted to clarify here a little bit i'm talking about paperbacks that have been a little bit beat up in combination with that i didn't necessarily like the design on the cover i don't mind having paperbacks a matter of fact i kind of prefer them in a lot of ways and i have no desire to collect fancy hardbacks with the exception of some of my favorite books for which I buy multiple versions because I love them and I cherish them. This is mostly a hobby in the attempt to get my energy back and uh, my motivation to do things and take my mind off of bad things, basically. Creativity in service of well-being. It's a hobby that I've been wanting to explore for a very long time, so I think I'm going to do that today. I have a um, place that I have designated in my apartment to be my workstation and I have to set it, um, but before that I have to clean it because it's a sort of a desk it's kind of like a vanity desk it it was intended i'm guessing initially as a vanity also has a dresser uh below um but i'm gonna clean it up and i'm gonna use it as my workstation so this is the plan for the day i obviously would like to read some as well and i have to finish editing one video that i filmed a few days ago and I haven't had the time to properly edit with work and everything else that been, that's been going on and i also have a few boxes i have uh, an aluminum crate box 
one, I think, and uh, three fairy loot boxes. So I would like to film unboxings for those so that I can finally see what's inside of them. Today is a lovely, beautiful, sunny day. And um, I think I'm feeling myself a little bit more alive than usual. I've been waiting for that. It was very overcast for the past week and I'm really happy with the weather that we have right now. Okay, enough with that. I'm gonna finish my glass of water, uh, finish working on my planner for the day because I have to clean up the tasks that I that need to be done for today it's a lot of things that need to be done but it's small tasks and most of those are quite enjoyable to me so let's go ahead and do that Just for your information, this is what a stove looks like after being used for one month without cleaning it absolutely at all. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay, so cleaning at least in the living room and in the kitchen area is pretty much fully done actually it is fully done i need to do the balcony now uh, but i think i'm gonna take a little break to read a little bit because uh well i want to but let me show you first what we're working with when it comes to the balcony so this is the whole thing it's a very small area i don't know two square meters I don't know what that is in feet and uh, other witchcraft measurements uh, but basically this is the whole thing this is a bag of vegetables that I still have here one of the pillows a folded chair this is the grill we keep it here and we cook with it here but we have it in a few months and I really need to clean that as well uh, we have here some hangers or planters I think some planters here um, these are some pillows that I washed yesterday um, and uh, they are drying here in the planter hangers and uh, yeah we have the folded chair here it's not dirty per se it just is a little messy basically so I need to kind of make it not as messy I'm still gonna repot that uh, plant that I men mentioned earlier and I'm gonna sort out through my planters see what can be used what can't be used and uh, what I'm gonna do I also need to look into some plants to get for the balcony but that's probably gonna happen next week uh what are we gonna do now is I'm gonna have my coffee with a little bit of uh reading I'm currently reading wait a second 
So I am reading The Secret by Julie Garwood. Uh, this is a historical romance uh, set in Scotland mostly, and I'm having a good time with it. I have read a multitude of Julie Garwood books. I think this is the fourth one that I'm reading, and I just finished another one of hers, Mercy, which is a um, contemporary romantic suspense. And I loved it. I loved the setting and the majority of the characters. But there's this thing that I have with Julie Garwood's female characters. Some of them, I just, uh, they're very frustrating to read because she makes them into these bumbling fools that I just don't enjoy following. Uh, but in this case, she has done a great job. And in the case of Mercy, uh, that was the problem. Uh, the female character, although admittedly very nice and likable, tended to turn into a, well, bumbling fool when it came to the guy that she liked. And while we can all get flustered around a person that we find attractive, I found it a little too much in the case of that book. Uh, in the case of this book, uh, though, she has actually done the female character the main protagonist um, justice and I am very much enjoying it. Sorry, my cat is being a brat because I'm not paying as much attention to her as she is demanding I do. The other book that I'm currently reading is Promise of Blood by Brian McClellan, which is a adult fantasy. It's in the other room and I don't feel like going all the way there to pick it up. It's um, the first book in the Harder Mage trilogy and I'm having the best time reading it. I did not expect to like it as much as I did, but I, I absolutely do. I love it and it reminds me kind of of Mistborn, which is the idea behind picking it up to begin with. It's one of my Aurelium Academy books for the spring equinox. It also, by the way, reminds me very, very much of The Black Company and uh, I am just enjoying it immensely. Let me just go see what they are destroying currently. And so I think I'm just going to continue with The Secret right now because it's right here so that I can hopefully finish it today and maybe pick another of my books on my April TBR. There are so many of those and I'm definitely not going to be able to deal with it. But I'm going to cut myself some slack for this month because, uh, well, there are other things that matter more and I can be mad for um, and not sticking with a goal that ultimately changes nothing. So let's go do that. So I ultimately decided to go with Promise of Blood because I felt more excited about reading this one and I continue to be very very excited about it. I'm in the middle of a huge gigantic battle at a very key spot. Things are falling apart very quickly and I don't know how that's gonna sound but I love this part. I love seeing things falling into place where they may be because I know that right after that we will reach some discoveries and uh, it's uh, yeah it's one of my favorite things there's a lot of mystery in this world and I am so curious to, to see it unravel didn't expect to like this book as much as I do but I definitely do love it a lot okay it's a few hours later and I'm about 75 percent into promise of blood and i kind of want to drop all of my plans for the rest of the day and just read that because um i just really want to see what's going to happen at the end it's very tense things are happening I, I don't know what to say without spoiling you so i'm not gonna say anything more and i'm gonna uh, go to the balcony and trim a little bit of the netting. I don't know if you saw it earlier, but um, I have this net here to uh, prevent my cats from uh, dropping down and it's hanging around here a lot. So I want to trim this part here to make it a little bit more nice because when you sit and want to watch the sea, it's kind of obstructive, this thing here. So I'm going to trim these. Uh, it's not a big job, but I've been wanting to do it for like a year now and I haven't done it yet. My boyfriend is out to the gym right now i'm taking a few days break from that so by the time that he's back i'm gonna do this i'm gonna read a little bit and then i'm gonna cook we're gonna have some burgers for lunch i think and after we're done with that i either will go to do some crafting or do some more reading i haven't decided yet we'll see
Okay, so this is the final result. I don't know if you can see the difference, but I definitely can when I see it sit here at my chair. I can now have an obstructed view an unobstructed view is that the way to say it of the sea and it's really nice and we still keep the benefit of the netting around here uh, i'm gonna wait for these pillows to dry and then i'm gonna remove them and put them on the couch then i will put two of these planters here and probably either plant some sort of herbs or sp spring flowers or rather meadow flowers something that doesn't require too much effort and in this one here i'm planning on planting cat grass at least that's my plan for now we'll see um because uh, these two weirdos here love grass and eat it repeatedly uh, all day long Okay, so it's like an hour later, I'm done with the editing of the video and it's now processing. I'm gonna let it there and upload it in like two hours or something like that. I'm gonna start cooking maybe right now so that when my boyfriend is home, we can have some food and relax a little bit before I continue with the rest of the day. Maybe I'll continue just reading for the rest of the day because I am super excited to see how Powder Mage book one, uh, Promise of Blood is gonna end. Um, I got very, very invested into it and I kind of wish I had the rest of the books of the series so that I can binge it which doesn't happen very often uh, but unfortunately I don't have them and I was thinking uh, what to continue with later but we'll talk about it when the time comes for the moment I'm gonna go into making burgers so it's much later in the afternoon now it's about 7 30 p.m burgers have been consumed video has been posted on YouTube and I even managed to read a little bit and now I'm in my bedroom where I'm gonna set up my crafting area it's currently covered in clean clothes that I need to fold and put in the closet. No, it's <laughs> not with you. My crafting area we have here a standard mat on which to work i haven't removed the peel from the top yet we have an embossing heater i think it's called and some uh, hot embossing powders and we have some paints and some glue and some other instruments that we're going to utilize as well as some mediums and stuff um it's an initial start i have some paper here as well this is not everything that i'm gonna need for my projects hello uh, but it's a start and i'm very excited about it now that all of that is done i only have the plant that i need to repot that was left from all of the things that i wanted to do today but i don't feel the inspiration to do it honestly and i can always do it tomorrow morning so i'll probably just leave it for then uh, it doesn't really have to move urgently i just wanted to do it because i've been procrastinating it for a long time and i guess today is going to be no different when it comes to that but i did quite a lot today to my standards you know it's sunday so it's a day off and uh, i'm happy with the product that I've been able to achieve. 